Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome to another Amiga episode. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at this GVP Amiga 500, 500 Plus RAM dash hard disk expansion with auto boot function here. This is one of the most beautiful hard drive side car expansions ever made for the Amiga 500. I absolutely love this. Looks so nice going with the Amiga's own lines, everything is just pure awesomeness. Let's take a closer look at this beauty. As you can see, this Amiga 500 has got 5.12 five, five slow RAM, 8 megabyte fast RAM, and 5.12 cheap RAM. Beautiful stuff, guys. Also, this, there we go. This drive actually came with a SCSI drive that was sounding like a jet plane. <laughs> so off with that. I don't want to listen to stuff like that. Um, as you can see, nine megabyte of total memory, eight megabyte fast built in here, half megabyte cheap here and half megabyte slow here. So let's just pop the hood and take a closer look inside. This GVP expansion board, it runs with its own power supply unit. This one has got, it, it looks like brand new. Again, the same lines are going over here. Under here, it has got labeled with, yeah, everything original, looks nice. Look at this guys, the colors and everything. I mean, this is what, 30 years old? Game Switch Auto Boot Impact Series 2 GVP Great Valid Products Optional Fan Here Wow, looks beautiful Impact Series 2 A500 HD 8 Plus The Plus version With Power Indicator and Indicator for the Hard Disk Inside we have got this switch Where we can select Auto Boot on and off as I said earlier, this one came with a SCSI hard disk that was so loud. I mean, it destroyed my Amiga joy, Amiga happiness. So it's off. It's actually dead and gone. <laughs> but I'm, I want to show you something in here. If we just move the camera just a bit here. Slowly, slowly. One thing that I didn't know about is these uh, boards, they come with four RAM slot sockets, whatever you want to call them. It is actually, I thought you should have, you know, um, it could take one megabyte and two megabyte RAM blocks. That, that's what I heard back then. But to my big surprise, it has got four megabyte, four megabyte, and the jumpers are set on eight megabyte, and the Amiga finds and works and tests everything just running perfect with 8 megabyte of fast RAM. Isn't it just beautiful? You can actually install the, uh, what's it called, SCSI 2SD or something like that, version 6. Just plug it on here, this one. But let me assemble this a bit more. Look what I have done for you guys. Okay, I'm not going to turn on the Amiga, but just the GVP here. I mean, do you want to use your Amiga with this noise? Yeah. So what do you think about the 30 year old SCSI drive spinning noise? It's unbearable, man. So yeah, again, this expansion today, you can use it as a memory upgrade or put in a Maybe you can find a newer SCSI drive that doesn't, you know, irritate you that much, ain't that loud as the ones that I have. Or again, just buying a SCSI to SD adapter, put it in, put your SD card and you are just ready to go. It's an amazing piece of equipment. I think this one is one of the most popular expansions 
from back then. I don't know if it's because of the design. Yeah, I think it's partially because of design and GVP is just so well respected in the Amiga community. And also this version came uh, in another version uh, where it had the O30 processor installed on the board. Those are expensive. These are expensive also, but but then with them with the old 30 cards, they're just wow. But but they're great, guys. If you can get one of them, buy them. <laughs> yeah, not much else to tell you about this amazing sidecar expansion, guys. Again, I love the design, the looks of it. Everything is just so beautiful. And I have read you can actually mod these to run with the Amiga's own internal power supply. If you go ahead and use, you know, just as a RAM expansion or use a modern SD card, I don't think you need the extra PSU, but with the old drives, it's a good idea to just run it with its own. Other than that, beautiful stuff, man. Another Amiga gem. I have another one of these that are brown. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to um, show you how I retrobite Bright. I use no chemicals, I use the sun's power only, clean up everything and put it out in the sun for three days, you know, you know in a sunny day and it, it will look amazing. So I'm gonna make a in-depth review in that video with this A500 HD 8 Plus expansion i have the same card for the mega 2000 we're gonna take a look at that also so if you like stuff like this go ahead and subscribe it could be nice again my supporters on patreon i love you guys thank you for your support i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope that i will see you on the next media video have a great day out there guys I'm just thinking about having a, a, a hard disk expansion back in 91. I mean, a game like Eye of the Beholder 2, Street Fighter 2. We switched those discs like crazy. I mean, how cool would it be if I was not a kid, but a teenager back then and had some money and had the hard disk back in the early, early 90s, man. Wow, great stuff. Yeah, great stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day out there. Bye.